Daily step count, 12. Mm -hmm. Daily I get it, Kathy. I'm, I'm grieving, okay? Can you let me grieve? I I'm sorry I snapped, I just... Hey, hey guy, can we uh, come inside? We have an easel with us. What? It's a flat board with three wooden legs, primarily used to give presentations. Okay. Hello, my name is Whoa. Whoa, Whoa what, what a, a name. name, right? I've heard them all. Uh, I'm Dan. Okay. Uh, this is my partner. Hey, you know, if you ever uh, want, uh, needed to introduce yourself and you were also sad, uh, you could say, Whoa, Whoa is, is me. me, right? That's so funny. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the presentation started now, which is what I came here <laughs> Everyone loves eating, no one loves gaining weight. So what's the solution? You buy my old meat. The meat stays in your stomach just long enough for you to absorb some of the nutrients and then the putrefied jelly bones and the mold, well, they kick in and pop flies right back out your mouth. You can eat it again, you can serve it to your children, I don't care, uh, it's a great meal for the whole family. Family. Family, family. Dan, are you listening? Look what I'm doing, look. Uh, uh, sorry. Just, You're not going to come up with something better than woe is me. That was the pinnacle of funny. No, I, um, I don't know. I guess I just miss my family. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm actually a meat salesman and not a therapist. So. Most of them died from madness. Many more chewed their own heads off. I didn't do it to be sadistic. I just... I thought they'd look cute. But the hats wouldn't stay on, and so... I glued them. The workers couldn't fit back down their tunnels. The babies walked backwards, dragging their heavy, burdensome heads. I, I tried to fix it, you know, I tried to fix my little family. I, I gathered the survivors and I put them in a containment tank and I was able to get the hats off, but the solvent that I used blinded them. Have you ever seen a blind ant? Hey, just say you're not interested. Come on, Matt, we've got a family business to run. Family? What? Hold, hold, hold on, I gotta press the, the button again. Uh, you said you guys are a family? Family? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm kind of like the dad. Uh, and then Matt's my downline, so I guess he's my surrogate daughter. Are person. you hiring? Seriously? You wanna, uh, yeah, no, I, I can pivot. <laughs> uh, it's a great program, you know, you get to eat free meat. Uh, I mean, take a look at Matt. He's, he's already lost 90 pounds of organ weight. He does look thin. You know, it's a great two-step business model. Uh, step one, you get a polo, and step two, uh, you go floating around the galaxy selling old beef. Mostly beef. It's a cash cow, Dan. <sighs> Mostly cow. Look, do we have a deal? Are you gonna be in my downline? What's going on? It's a deal, Daddy. What? Oh, um, I was just calling you Daddy, um, cause like earlier you said that, uh, people in your downline are kinda like your kids, so... I was just like calling you my daddy is like a, um, it's just like a goofy kind of, uh, just joking around. Oh, okay. I don't like that. All right. That's the last box. Hey, great job getting that stupid nerd to pay for a thousand meats up front. Oh yeah, I just told him he'll make a profit when he resells them, but you know, a thousand meats, uh, <laughs> there's no way. Shh, whoa, he's, he's right there. You gotta shh and you gotta- Be quiet. Yeah, no, that doesn't matter with this guy. Like I asked him for his social earlier and he just gave it to me to keep. Like this is mine now. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Yeah, and like 10 minutes before you walked in here, he kissed my feet with his mouth. Okay. I think it was kind of a submission thing. Oh, good. So I have other stuff to do. Oh, okay. Keep doing work, you know? <laughs> or I'll fire you. Oh, hey, Matt. You're looking thin. Okay, Dan, so we're gonna do a little sales role play. Uh, just pretend this big hunk of meat is the customer. Be open, be honest, and sell. Hi, I'm Dan. I have lots of meat, and you can trust me. Um, just not around ants. I had a little family of them, and uh, I made some mistakes. And you know, now I'm just living with the consequences every single day of my life. Okay. Uh, what, why don't you try relating to the customer? Okay. Yeah. Right. Sorry. 
Hi, I'm Dan. I put hats on my family and they died. Nope. It's so simple, Dan. Just get to know the customer on a, a one-to-one kind of intimate level, you know? Okay. Okay, but not, nope, not like what you're doing. Uh... When you're with me, what do you feel? Will you tell me even if I won't tell you when I saw you? First time I can tell that it was love at first sight. If I love you, would you love me? There is no way I would say you before. What I'm not. Looks like you two are about to start a family. That's a family, all right. I love babies. very good at sales, so I've got something else in mind. Oh, okay. Okay, Dan, how about you just clear the fat from the bone grinder? Can you handle that? Can that be your new job? I thought that was the children's job. Yeah, it was. Uh, Unfortunately, we had to let them go into the bone grinder, so go ahead and just jam your hands into those gears over there. Hey, Matt, can you uh, start loading up the conveyor belt with some more meat? Thank you, buddy. By the way, Dan, uh, those thousand meats that you bought, those are non-refundable. Just thought I'd clear that up. Now, Matt, what are you doing? That conveyor belt is for me and not for people. Come on, Dan, get him off of there. Dan, now reel him in. The hat's not staying on his head. Here, use some of this industrial glue. I don't know. The last time I messed around with glue and hats. Dan, we know. Come on, Dan, what are you waiting for? Get him off of there. He's gonna get sliced into meats. Just toss it. Dan! Dan! You know, Kathy, I may have lost my job and allowed a man to fall into a meat grinder, but when you think about the bigger picture, Matt was probably gonna die anyway. Voice command not recognized. Guess all I'm really trying to say is I'm glad to be part of a family again. Sorry, I didn't get that. Unknown voice command. You said it, Kath.